they have proposal. It's like somebody wants to offer you something. This could be a love offer. You have legal matters. Somebody wants something to be balanced out, like justice to be served with something. You have finances. And then unexpected. So this is definitely going to be something that's going to um, make someone successful. Okay, so what I'm getting is that somebody wanted to give you something with proposal. Like they wanted to uh, offer you love. But something took place that they needed to get balanced out. Like they were under judgment for something. This could have been something involving the justice system. And they went through a lot of money problems. Like something went on with their finances and this was unexpected. Like, yeah, this was a surprise to this person. You have hookup. And then spiritual awakening. And then you have family. And then you have healing. So it's like that person is someone that they see you as someone that um, it's like they want to have some type of intimate relationship with you. And it isn't involving sex. Like that person could, you know, they're attracted to you sexually, but they want to have um, true intimacy with you. Like this person wants to hold you. They want to talk to you, um, communicate with you, just have time with you. Whatever time that you have had with that person, whatever intimate conversations that you have had with that person, they had a major epiphany. Like this was something that was unexpected to that person. And um, it caused them to go through some type of healing um, process. Like something that they needed to um, mend. Like mend fences with. This could have been family. Things that they went through um, generations after generations that needed to be healed. So yeah, if you had an intimate conversation with that person... And whoever these two people are that's on this card, they're not having, they're not like, they could have hooked up. You and that person could have hooked up and just talked and had an intimate conversation. And um, they came, they, some, this person had some type of spiritual awakening and it caused them to go into this healing process. You have intuition and then relationship. This is someone who always seen you as their um, partner, like somebody that they wanted to be in a committed, committed relationship with. You could have been seeing that person as someone you wanted to be in a committed relationship with or something like that. It was always some type of gut feeling that um, was in your intuition or in that person's intuition. You have between the lines, but it was a lot of things that were hidden. So um, you could have needed to read between the lines or see something. That person needed to see something. Because like that person didn't know what that meant. You possibly didn't even know what that meant. Then you have soulmate being here. Yeah, surrender. It's like something needed to be released. Like somebody needed to surrender. You could have needed to let go of something. That person needed to let go of something with surrender being here. Because it's like you and this person are soulmates. Yeah, and it could have been a lot of like shadiness or you could have been attached to an enemy, a snake. That person could have been attached to um, people that were very deceptive or a person that was very deceptive. Hold on one second. Yeah, there was some type of temptation, temptation, deception, hidden enemies surrounding this connection that you have with this soulmate. 
Because, like, whoever this person is, you and this person have past lives together. There's a soul contract here um, and a soul connection. You have social media. This person could be someone that they're used to watching you on social media. And then you have ex-lover. Wow. Hold on one second. <laughs> but yeah, so um, whatever this the temptation energy, this could be also um, online dating. Like that person could be easily tempted. And they um, like easily tempted by temptation, lust. And they could have did a, a whole bunch of online dating with different people. You have ex-lover. And then you have toxic relationship. Yeah, so this person could have been dealing with, you know, as I said, people that they barely knew and they would get in a relationship with different people and it was just toxic. But this person always had a gut feeling that they wanted to be in a commitment with you. You have addiction. They could have had a lot of different toxic attachments. Um, this could have been addiction to drugs. Or this person could have been addicted to alcohol or something like that. Whatever these toxic attachments were, it's like that person had to surrender, let go of these toxic attachments in order to be able to um, walk into the soul contract. Realize that they have a soul connection with you and you're their soulmate. You have regret. So as this person have sat back and realized everything um, that has happened, they're feeling guilty. This person feels like they made some type of mistake and they were um, in regret. This could be an apology. Like that person could want to apologize for something. You have new love. And that popped out in the reverse and then crossroads. So this person wants to apologize for... Um, This person wants to apologize for um, some type of stalemate. Maybe this person was undecided about something. Indecisive is here with crossroads. Like they didn't know what to choose. But it's like now they're in regret because they feel like they've made a wrong choice. Yeah, because they have a magnetic attraction towards you. You have friends. This could be a friend of yours. And then you have mystery. And then party. I'm so done. And then grass is greener. So it was some type of confusion going on between um, this could have been their friend. This could have been your friends. Um, something was confusing to that person. Or somebody was trying to confuse that person about you. And it's because of who you are with grass is greener. Um, somebody was jealous because jealousy is on the bottom of this card. Like if you're someone that's very happy, you're peaceful, you're someone that is um, in a total opposite energy that they were in. They knew that you were someone that was um, would make that person better. That person would be happy with. And some type of jealousy took place. Like somebody was jealous and they tried to confuse that person. You have secret crush. So yeah, maybe they knew that person was admiring you. They were attracted to you. And um, they were trying to confuse that person. So this person has a gut feeling of how they feel about you. They're, they know in their intuition how they feel. But um, another person that they were attached to was jealous. Maybe this is something that they... The, whoever this... These are snakes, like hidden enemies. So different energies needed to be released. That person needed to release whatever energy that they were in. 
because they could have been coming off deceptive and they needed to heal yeah somebody was easily to be tempted And this is what was keeping them at a stalemate, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to choose or what option they should take or something like that. You have the Knight of Pentacles and then the King of Wands. Yeah, and this is somebody, you know, if this is someone who did not know that them, you and them have a um, spiritual connection, like you're their soulmate, that person was very passionate about coming towards you for sex. So this is why they were like slowed down. Yeah, it's like if, if you talk to this person, hooked up with this person, had an intimate conversation or something like that, they were very passionate about you. Like they feel like you're someone that's irresistible. So it's like they were in this lustful energy. And um, they were slowed down because they were confused. They didn't know why there was a magnetic attraction between you, you and them. And um, that person could have ghosted you or something like that. Yeah, because they were they, they were you know slowed down because they were attract like coming towards you in a lustful way. You have the star. Yeah. Somebody was slowed down because they needed to heal. You have the ten of cups. You have this popping out twice. You have the, the family and then healing. Ten of cups and then the star. Somebody definitely needed to heal some type of uh generational like trauma or mean something. Or as I said, this could have been something that they needed to heal that was um, wounds that they dealt with with within um, their childhood or past lives involving like family or something like that. Their family dynamic. You have the Knight of Swords. And then you have the Hierophant. Yeah, so it's like now this person, it's like at first they were coming towards you because they really, you know, well, they were attracted to you. This person was lusting after you. But now it's like they're rushing in because they want to be in a commitment with you. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Knight of Wands. You have temperance and then ace of pentacles. And then the three of wands. You have the three of cups in the reverse. So this person made a decision to end out some type of third party relationship, um, third party interferences. This could have been a lustful behavior with the Knight of Wands being here. And it's like now this person wants to offer you something and um, balance something out between you and them. Like now it's like that person wants to be in a commitment. If this person was accustomed to being in this type of energy, Knight of Wands, they could have been accustomed to just, you know, being single. But it's like now they don't want to be in that type of energy. It's like they've made a decision to end out um, third party interferences, things that will interfere with them having a committed relationship or something like that. This could be celebrating, partying or going out a lot. You have the Page of Swords, and then you have the Six of Wands. And then the Hangman. Eight of Wands. It's like whatever it is that you're doing, that person is watching you. They see that you have made some type of quick change. 
you've released something, you let something go, and something has changed like quick for you or all of a sudden with this Eight of Wands. It's like quick movement. You did something quick and you've came out in the Six of Wands energy. You're more enlightened with the, you know, hangman being here. Yeah, so it's like you've surrendered. You've let go of something. It's like you're reading between the lines about something. Or you've read between the lines and you have went through a spiritual awakening like you've gotten woke to something. You have the Page of Cups. It's like they're, they're behind the scenes admiring you. And then you have the Five of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. If that person was watching you, somebody else that they were attached to was in this Five of Swords. Like that was a hidden enemy to that person. Maybe they did not know. And um, they were trying to sabotage the connection before it got started because they knew that you were that person's secret admirer. It's like they envied you and this person coming together to partner up or collaborate. It's like somebody was standing in the way. Somebody was standing in the way of this connection. And this was somebody that was, as I said, a hidden enemy. That person was someone that was very jealous-hearted, envious. You have the world. And then Ace of Cups, yeah. Then you have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, for a long time, it's like somebody was trying to keep somebody unsure. And they needed to sit back and reevaluate why they were in this Two of Wands energy. Because it's like they kept that person waiting to do something. Now it's like they're in the energy, they're determined. Yeah, they're determined to do something. You have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're determined to come towards you. It's like they want to offer you something. This is a love offer that this person... It, it has came out twice. You have Proposal. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. It's like they want to offer you something now. And then, then you have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, something is definitely, something was ended out with the world being here. If this person was not able to see these hidden enemies, now they do. This is why they were at the stalemate, so they will be able to see something, pay attention to something. And it could have took them a long time. And it kept them like in the waiting energy. They were only dimming your light. So somebody is realizing that somebody was only dimming their light. If this is somebody that was determined to try to sabotage a connection before it even started. It's like they whatever they were doing, they were supposed to be doing so that person could see them for who they truly are. Because that person was only coming towards you in a lustful energy. This person did not know that you were their soulmate. You have spell work exposed. So somebody could have been using spell work to try to confuse that person. Like gossiping, negative, um, lying, spreading rumors, different things like that. You have researching. So yeah, somebody was doing a lot of research and they were using manipulation to um, 
keep that person like at a stalemate because they envied this person admiring you federal case so somebody could be dealing with some type of federal case happiness is here and then regret so who, whoever is dealing with this federal case they're in regret You have confidence, karmic masculine, and then confusion. So whoever this karmic masculine is that tried to confuse um, that person about you, they were using some type of spell work, manipulation, trickery to, um, and they were also doing research. So that person could have been playing with black magic. If they were researching and they knew that you and that person had a soul contract, you and that person um, have shared many lifetimes together, you and that person were supposed to come together this lifetime, they tried to confuse that person and they ended up getting wrapped up in some type of federal case. Now they're in regret. Like this is literally their karma. Maybe they didn't know their karma would come in that form as they were sitting back trying to keep some confusion going on. Wow. Wow. Like they didn't want that person to have the confidence. You have stalker. This is somebody that was stalking you. Yeah, this is somebody that's very sneaky. Yeah, but they ended up getting exposed. Exposure is here. They were trying to use children. This is sad. And then separation is here. Yeah, so whoever this person is, they could have been, somebody was trying to do something to confuse that person. And it was involving children. To try to keep that person like distant. Staying separated from you. And this was in a sneaky and deceptive way because they sat back and researched something about you and that person. Yeah, this was definitely manipulation. This is a karmic soulmate that they were attached to. You have karmic justice. And this definitely was a jealous friend. Wow. They don't have anywhere to go. They could be dealing with some bad karma. It's like they're all out of options. They don't have anywhere to run to or something like that. Then you have right path. Yeah, this all took place so that person would be able to get on the right path. It was a reason why you and that person were in separation. As I said, you needed to end things out, let go of things. That person needed to end things out. They needed to let go of things. Because it's like that person did not know who you were to them. They just felt strongly attracted to you. And um, they were definitely like lusting after you. But they wanted more. They probably felt like they could only come towards you and offer you sex. So they were desiring to like hook up with you and um, something like that. But as that person was slowed down by whoever this jealous friend is, they were able to see something. They were able to see that that person was someone that was manipulating them. They were able to see that, you know, that person needed to be exposed. A lot of stuff needed to be exposed. Before they just came towards you in that energy. Like they needed to get their self balanced out and grounded. This person could have needed to do their own research. You have a leader. And then new love. Yeah, panicking. So now that, you know, this is out. Somebody have gained clarity. Somebody, this karmic soulmate karmic friend this could be multiple people but um it's somebody is panicking this person views you as a leader and they want to come towards you and offer you new love yeah you have needy and codependent and very intuitive yeah it's like somebody is panicking <laughs> 
whoever this person is that's needy and codependent is panicking because they see you as someone that's very intuitive. Yeah, it's like they need to move on. Maybe they can't. They invested a lot of time on trying to confuse that person. Now they're confused. They don't know how to move on. And they're panicking. Because it's like that person is getting on the right path. You're on the right path. Yeah. The truth have been the truth have been revealed. Hold on one second. Yeah, so this person definitely needed to find out the truth about um somebody that thought that they were going to be able to control someone else's connection, like their spiritual connection. A soul contract that they have with someone else. It's, and it was because they're very needy and codependent to that person. You have a long time. Yeah, somebody definitely needed to be alone. Like spend some time in hermit mode. Do their own research. Um, if they were in a relationship, that person needed to focus on being single. If that person were, you know, constantly going through bad relationships. And they didn't understand why. It's like they needed to go through this so they could heal some type of wounds that kept them running into the same type of energy in different people. And to see why they were learning this type of lesson. Yeah. You have in the now. So right now, it's like something is being released. Worries or doubts or expe expectations that you may have or that person may have about the future. Um, those are the things that needed to be released. So you would be in the now. That person would be in the now. Because being in the now is way more important, especially when it involves your love life. That's how you're you're going to be able to manifest um, what you truly want. Because if you're constantly focused on the past and you're afraid of what's going or afraid and worried about what's going to take place in the future, it's like it's best to be single. Because you're not, you know, healed enough where you're willing to open yourself up to be able to embrace and receive what you truly want. You have psychic connection. You and this person are, you know, definitely in the same energy where you're thinking the same. It's like if you're thinking about that person, they're thinking about you. Your intuition is telling you how that person truly feels about you. Because this is a psychic connection that you and that person have. And it's a strong connection. Yeah, so however you're feeling about that person, they feel the same way about you. This person needed to just listen to their intuition and go with their gut feeling and um, go through some type of healing process. And you needed to do the same. Yeah, intimacy is here. This is someone who definitely, you know, they want to become physically mental. I mean, <laughs> physically intimate with you. Because it's like that person already has some type of, they're connected to you spiritually. And they want to become physically intimate with you. Emotionally intimate. So it's like you're connected to them on a spiritual level. You could have, as I said, had an intimate conversation with that person and now it's like they want something to be emotional. They want to they want it to be physically, emotionally, and um spiritually intimate with you. And it's like that person isn't, you know, they're not in that Knight of Wands energy anymore, like or lusting after you. Because it's not about your looks anymore. It's about the energy that you're walking in. So it's like they're seeing more clear. This person have went through an epiphany, spiritual awakening. 
They're seeing you for who you truly are to them. Yeah, and realizing this is why they were slowed down so they would be able to pay attention to whatever this confusion was and why you and that person were in separation. 